Welcome to the short book summaries channel if you are new to this channel kindly consider subscribing this channel to stay updated on each new book coming to this world. In case you like and want to buy this book the link is given in the description below. Now enjoy the summary. The mind guides our footsteps as we progress along the pathway of life. Purity of mind leads inevitably to purity of life, to the precious love and understanding that should control our everyday acts and attitudes towards friends and foes. But where must one look for guidance? How does one achieve purity of mind that alone brings happiness and confidence? The author offers his clear answers in this book as a man thinketh. His words have helped millions for more than a century and they continue to point the true way to a better life for a troubled humanity. Out of a clean heart comes a clean life and a clean body, James Allen writes. Out of a defiled mind proceeds a defiled life and a corrupt body. Too many mortals strive to improve only their worldly position and too few seek spiritual betterment. Such is the problem James Allen faced in his own time. The ideas he found in his innermost heart after great searching guided him as they will guide you. Read this book yesterday. I really enjoyed it and have set some new personal development goals in line with the book's concepts. This is a book I will reread throughout my life. I do disagree with one point. James Allen said that bad thoughts lead to sickness and disease, which is the part I agree with. He also said the reverse is true, bad health is a result of bad thoughts, which I do not agree. I don't believe that all sickness and disease is a result of bad thoughts or sin. I believe that we have mortal bodies that are prone to sickness and degeneration. Yes, bad thoughts do corrupt the body and can lead to bad health, but the reverse is not always true. When it rains the sidewalk gets wet, but just because the sidewalk is wet, doesn't mean it has rained.